Welcome to the Electric Vehicle Show 2007 in sunny California. The show was a mixture of exhibition and conferences based inside, and perhaps more usefully, a ride and drive event at the rear of the Anaheim Convention Center. For all the electric vehicle news in the USA, perhaps the greatest surprise was that the only true commercial vehicles on show were both offerings from the UK. With manufacturers Modec of the West Midlands and Smith's Electric Vehicles from the Northeast. As far as the US manufacturers are concerned, the company that appears to be making the biggest news is Phoenix Motors, which is no surprise when you see the vehicle. They have designed this all-electric pickup vehicle from a clean sheet of paper, which boasts nearly standard car performance with a top speed of 95 miles per hour, 0 to 60 in less than 10 seconds, and a range of over 100 miles, all on a single charge. A more novel approach is taken by Gordon Dower at Riddick which is basically a chassis with interchangeable bodies and in the case of the chassis at the EVS it's electric of course. Another leading electric vehicle manufacturer is Miles who produced one vehicle with two models one all-electric four-door hatchback and a two-door drop-side pickup. Miles are also looking to produce the world's first affordable mass-produced all-electric highway vehicle called the XS500. Now this is officially a gem of a vehicle it's General Motors electric vehicle, which in one disguise or another has been around for over 10 years. With around 40,000 units and a price of approximately $9,000 to $10,000, it's probably the most popular in the US. Ford has created the Edge, with its high series drive which incorporates a 130 kilowatt lithium battery as a primary energy source, with a 35 kilowatt fuel cell automatically recharging the batteries for a total range of 225 miles and a maximum speed of 85 miles per hour. Does this look familiar? Well it should do. It's a French built Megavan. It's the basis for a range of variants specifically designed for the US market by the Columbia Parkar company. And then of course we have the Brits with Modec attracting a lot of interest especially as they had a vehicle available for test drive. Smith didn't bring the Ford Transit based Edison but instead brought the larger Avia based Newton which in bright green couldn't fail to be seen and it wasn't. If you want to learn more about the key vehicles at the show we have interviews with Phoenix Motors, Miles and Smiths on our website.